Now, the business secretary, Vince Cable, says he wants to see it happen, but how do we improve ethnic diversity in Britain's boardrooms? Well, tomorrow, a list of the 100 most influential black people in Britain is being released, expected to include a number of leading businessmen and women. The power list is now in its fourth year and is the brainchild of Michael Iboda, who joins us now. Good morning. Good morning. Why does it matter? Why do we need to see the sort of facts and figures about who's on the power list? Who's on the power list? Mm. Um, matters for several reasons. I mean, we, we started the power list really as a role model guide for young people. Um, look at the media. You don't really see a lot of black people um, portrayed in roles of influence. Uh, you see a lot of sports people, and that's fantastic. You see a few people who are um, in the entertainment world. But you don't really see a great deal of business people or lawyers or doctors. And, you know, for young people to... Um, to, to have somebody to look up to and to aspire to, I think it's quite important that that's the case. What, what, what do you think about the, this idea, though, that in, in the boardroom we need to look at the, the figures, that, that one in five should be from uh, an ethnic minority in the boardrooms? What would you say to the criticism that that smacks of, of tokenism? I, I, think it, I don't think it smacks of tokenism at all. I think uh, if you look at the numbers of uh, minority ethnic people, if you look at the numbers of women, there's been a fantastic... Um, um, initiative that was launched via the Lord Davis report uh, trying to get the number of women on, on boards up um, it actually only makes sense because you know if you only have people from a from a very small set uh, making these sorts of decisions at this sort of level actually and, and research has shown this you're not often going to get the right results why is it that there aren't more black people uh, in boardrooms? I mean, is it down to, to problems at that level and, and, and lack of acceptance at that, at that level? Or does it actually go further back? I mean, is it, is it a schooling issue that actually kids just aren't getting that, that sort of inspirational sort of education, if you like, or, or, or that sort of recognition and connection with society that says, I can go to the very top? Well, it's not for, it's not for a lack of qualified people. Let's start there. Um, there, there are more than enough qualified people to sit on, on boards of FTSE 100 companies. At the moment, there are only, I think it's three people from um, African and African Caribbean heritage who are on, on uh, FTSE boards. If, if it were proportionally, um, if it were proportionate to the population, that would be 36, 37 people. The reason, the, one of the main reasons actually is that the people who select um, candidates for, for, for these jobs themselves have very small networks and they work within very tight and very small networks and they don't know anybody else so effectively it's a bit of a bit of an old boys club but mm. do, you, do you think the problem is being addressed now now that it's being highlighted do you think we're going to see that change in, in the years to come I hope so because you know um, um, that's the way it ought to go um, is it being addressed right now probably not uh, we, we've got some plans um, one of our sponsors EY the the uh, formerly known as Ernst & Young have got a, a massive program that they're going to be rolling out quite soon um, in order to try and address that. So there are people who are talking about it. I believe Chuka Umuna is going to say something uh, next week, I, I believe, about this. So there are people are looking at it and, and you know, and hopefully um, something will be done about it um, because, you know, our boardrooms should reflect, should reflect our country. Simple mm -hmm. as that. Michael, good to get your thoughts this morning. Thank you. Send us your views as well. That's Guy Stephen, that's Guy Gillian. Let us know what you think about that. We've got the sport in just a moment. Here's Charlie.